Sounds good. Uh, it was once the bustling heart of Britain's busiest fishing port, but for the last 30 years, the area of Grimsby, known as the Casbah, has become a picturesque ghost town. Even that many locals don't know the area exists, but now it's hoped that this and other historic landmarks in the town could be saved from further decay. David Silito reports. The huge hydraulic tower was modelled on the architecture of Siena. Grimsby used to be our greatest fishing port. And this was its heart. Known as the Casbah, these Victorian streets are now a ghost town. Hidden behind the fences of the port, many locals don't even know it exists. You've never heard of the Casbah? No, never. It's got shops and Not um, in Grimsby. houses. Not in Grimsby, no way. Born and bred, you've never heard of it? No, never. That's the first thing I said, wasn't it? Never heard of it, no. Never heard of it. And this is its greatest building, the old ice factory. It's rather a long time since I've been here, and it's rather a shame that it's in such a state that it is, really. Mike Sanderson was the last chief engineer. You were here on the final day this was operating? Yes, I was, yeah. And that feeling on that last day, what was it? Well, it was pretty sad, really. <laughs> yeah, it was, really. In its heyday, the refrigerators would produce 1,200 tonnes of ice a day. What can you do with this building? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it's not like an ordinary building. It's, it's, it was a purpose-built. And it's now been declared by Europa Nostra and the European Investment Bank Institute to be one of the continent's most endangered heritage sites. The problem is saving decaying old buildings is ruinously expensive. But there has been a thaw in the once rather frosty relationship between the port, which wants to embrace the future, and heritage campaigners such as Vicky Hartung. So do you two agree now about that? I think we largely are I in agreement. I think we are in there, agreement, absolutely. absolutely. There, there is, uh, there is a, Has it always been like that? No, I think there's been a changing attitude over time. I think that, that's fair to say. Harmony has broken out. Yes. It yes. does. <laughs> well, this is an empty smokehouse, but... Look Whoa, oh, what that's, a smell. That's an odour, isn't it? And this tarred door is some real Grimsby heritage the residue of a hundred years of some seriously old-school smoked haddock. The heritage, does that matter to you? God, yeah, absolutely. I mean, Grimsby's, you know, clutching on to the remains of a fishing industry. You care about Grimsby, don't you? We all care about Grimsby, don't we? Forty years on, there is then some hope that the long decline of this hidden heritage may be coming to an end. David Solito, BBC News, Grimsby. Started a bit of a discussion earlier when I mentioned that. I've Is had it the a best... discussion or are you in trouble? I mean, a bit of spot of trouble. I, I mentioned that the best fish and chips I've ever had, which yes. is just personal opinion, were in Grimsby. And people um, disagree. People are defending their own fish and chip shops in which various parts of the country. Which is probably fair enough, isn't but it? You'll, you, you'll have to do a survey. Don't you don't? need to go to Grimsby and try the fish and chips. They are magnificent. <laughs> I don't have to get the news.